Alright everybody, for this video we're going to learn some more like intermediate uh, painting techniques with acrylic paint. So you are going to need both a square and a round brush. You're going to need a cup half full of water, paper towels, and whatever colors of acrylic paint you would like to use. Please also take a few minutes to set your paper up like this and do not forget to put your name on it. Alright, so the first one is actually going to be dabbing. You can use a sponge or you can use like a paper towel. You're actually not going to be using your paintbrushes for this. So I'm going to tear off some paper towel um, and I do have some sponges that you are welcome to use. Um, but this is really fun and kind of creates like a nice texture. Um, so then you're just going to kind of dip into the color that you'd like. And then I'm going to dab. So I'm using really kind of like light pressure, just bouncing off the paper. And you'll notice you get like these really cool kind of texture effects. If you also kind of like dip into one color and then kind of like pick up a little bit of another color, then you get even kind of, it starts to blend and mix and make different colors on the page itself, which is really fun. All right, the next is outline and fill. It's exactly how it sounds, but I'm going to show you some tricks for that. So if you actually use um, like a square brush, and it doesn't really matter what size, um, you can, or a round brush, I, it really doesn't matter. Um, you're going to dip into a color. And you can hold your brush straight up with the page. So think like a 90 degree angle. And then you're going to press and drag. And it helps to create a really nice straight line. So if, and I'm also using the thin side, not the fat side. Okay. So I'm holding it up thin side. I'm going to press and drag. And you'll notice I get a very nice straight line. So then I can do that for all sides. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to pull the paint inward. And then you can just grab more paint and start to fill in your section. Of course, the square brushes are also really great for corners. Round brushes are really good for details in really tiny, small areas. All right, next is dry brush. So this is where we take most of the paint off of our brush, okay? So I'll pick a color, and then I'm actually going to like wipe it off on the side of my palette. So I'm gonna get rid of most of the paint so it feels like I don't have anything on my brush. Okay, and then I'm going to brush and you'll see it starts to kind of make this texture okay so that's your dry brush scraffito is basically scratching into paint so you can pick a color um, I'm going to do blue or mix some red maybe get some purple like a dark okay so I'm going to paint first. Okay, and then I can take the back of my brush, so flip it over, and draw into it. Pretty cool. So great for any other types of textures that you might be wanting to create or writing words into work could be really awesome. All right, so light pressure and heavy pressure. This is really important when you are painting. 
um, you know, I want you to notice too how I'm holding my paintbrush, okay? So I've got it kind of loose and I'm holding it in the middle. Notice that I'm also not, you know, pressing the bristles straight down because then that would damage them. So I'm kind of holding it to the side and I'm painting with it kind of like at an angle, okay? So, um, you know, you'll pick up a color and really light pressure. I'm just going to kind of brush softly, okay? Right. Um, with your round brush, you can also try this. Okay. When you get a heavy pressure, what I mean by that is like you're pressing firmly um, with your brush still at an angle, and you're just going to press hard down so that all the bristles kind of spread out, and you'll notice how heavy that now looks compared to your light pressure. So picking up my square brush, you can do the same thing. So it's very bold. All right, wet on wet is exactly how it sounds. So go ahead and pick a color. You're gonna paint the background and then while that paint is still wet, you're gonna take another color to, um, to put on top. So I'll do yellow. And then I'll pick up red, and I'm going to paint on top. All right, for blending, you're pretty much going to use the same thing as wet and wet. You want to kind of work while the paint is wet, because once it starts to dry, then it's going to be harder to blend the colors. So I'm going to take, um, I'm going to start with blue and I'm just going to keep brushing till I get to the middle and notice how it's already kind of running out of paint. Um, then I'm going to pick up red and I'm going to start on the other side and I'm going to start to bring it in. Notice that I also didn't rinse my brush off in between colors because I want them to kind of blend together. So I didn't feel that it was really necessary to have to rinse your brush off. Now, if you want more of a stronger red on this side, um, then you might want to rinse your brush off to do that. But now I'm just kind of brushing them. Notice that he, right here, I'm getting a dry brush. So see how it's very similar to that? So this paint has already dried. So I need to come back and get some more blue and I need to work faster so that I can blend these colors together. There we go. So in the middle, you'll get that mixture of the blue and purple, or blue and red together, sorry. All right, now double dip. This is just a technique that I came up with myself. It's not like, I actually don't really know what the name for it is. I've seen people do it before. Um, my mom does it a lot when she's painting. Um, but basically, you're gonna take a square brush and you're gonna double dip. I'm going to take one corner and dip it into my brush so that only one side of the brush has paint on it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side so that now I have two colors on my brush at the same time. And then I'm going to paint. And I can go, I can flip it and go back and forth and it will start to blend them together a little bit. Okay, so it's just kind of fun. Um, you can also do it with just one color. So I could do, So I have just black on here on one side, okay? And then I can do that's kind of like this cool shadow looking thing. All right, the last one is just brushes. So it's just kind of playing around with the different brushes. So you have the round and the square. So this is square and then you have more of the round brush. So you can do a few 
different fun cool things with these. Um, squares, like I had mentioned, are really good for corners. Okay, you can also do like different kinds of movements with the brush. And then the round brush, I don't have any green on here. This one's really good for like flowers. Or some type of swirls. It gives kind of like this nice, you know, ending spot here. It kind of starts off heavy and then gets kind of thin. Really good for trees, leaves, vines, those type of things. All right, that is it. Do not forget to put your name on it and please wait for cleanup instructions.